straight from Hope Ministry Sanctuary. Pastor Ralph here on this gloomy, gloomy day down by the ocean. And I wanted to speak to you guys about peace today. Um, you know, having peace is so important, but here's a step one. God loves you and has a plan for you. That is having peace. God loves you and wants you to know this early morning, know him so that he can fill you with peace and give you real life forever. God loved the people of this world so very much that he gave his only son so that he and everyone would have faith in him, will have everlasting eternal life and never die. Jesus said, I came so that everyone would have life. Everyone. And have it in his fullest. Since God planned for us to have peace and life, why are we so far from God right now? The Bible says, God so loved the world that he gave us his one and only son. Jesus Christ that whoever and I said whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting eternal life that's in John 3 16 Jesus said I came that they may have life and have it abundantly a complete life full of purpose in John 10 10 step two to having peace is uh, here's the problem, but people are sinful and separated from God. Since the beginning of time, we, as humans, have chosen to disobey God and go our own way. We still make this choice today, all of us. This results in separation from God. All of us have sinned and fallen short of God's holiness sin is choosing to say or do or think things that are against God's plan the result of uh, unforgiven sin is death but God's gift is eternal life given by Jesus Christ our Lord there is only one way to reach God we have all done thought or said bad things in our lives, which the Bible calls sin. The Bible says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God in Romans 3.23. The result of this is death, spiritual separation from God, Romans 6.23. The good news is, my friends, step three. God sent his son to die for your sins, my sins. Jesus Christ is God's son. He is the only one who can bring us back to God. Jesus died on the cross and rose from the grave. He paid the penalty for our sin and bridged the gap between God and people. There is only one God, and Christ, Jesus, is the only one who can bring us to God. Christ died once for our sins. All innocent persons died for those who are guilty. Christ did this to bring you to God. Friends, God has provided the only way we must make the choice this morning. Jesus died in our place so that we, friends, could have a relationship with God and be with him forever and ever. Friends, God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we uh, were yet sinners, Christ died for our sins. Friends, but it didn't end there, did it? It didn't end with his death or, or the cross. He rose again and still lives. Christ died 
for our sins. He was buried. He was raised on the third day, according to the Bible, according to the scriptures. You can find that in 1 Corinthians, Corinthians 15, 3 through 4. Jesus is the only way to God. The only way. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to me, uh, to the Father, but through me. In John 14, 6. Friends, last step. Step four. Would you like to receive uh, God's forgiveness, God's everlasting promises? We must trust Jesus Christ to forgive our sins and receive him as our Savior and serve him as our Lord. As many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believed on his name. Would you like to give your life over to Jesus Christ this early morning? We can do it right now. If so, you can pray the following prayer and accept Jesus as your Savior. Friends, we can't earn salvation. We are saved by God's grace. When we have faith in His Son, Jesus Christ, all you have to do is uh, believe you are a sinner that Christ died for your sins and ask his forgiveness so that from this point on you will be forgiven, you will be cherished, you will have abundantly amount of grace. Jesus Christ knows you and loves you. What, ma what matters to him is the uh, attitude of your heart, your honesty. We suggest pray the prayer that I might pray right now, that I will pray. So you get to know Christ as your Savior. Friends, close your eyes. Dear God, I know I'm a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe Jesus Christ is your Son. I believe that He died for my sins, your sins, and that you raised Him to life. I want to trust him as my savior and follow him as Lord Jesus from this day on forward. Guide my life and help me do your will. I pray this in his holy name, Jesus, amen. Friends, call me at 844-405-HELP. Together, you and I, we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves, always be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to anyone can change your day, make a difference in your life as well. May God bless each and every one of you and have a great life with Jesus Christ in your life. And we'll talk to you next Sunday service on Hope Ministry Sanctuary. May God bless you. Take care.